it's Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Beauty's Bliss. For today's Beauty's Bliss is going to be something kind of different. I recently discovered a YouTuber who sells makeup that she either gets in PR or that she's bought or that she was gifted that she doesn't really like or doesn't work for her and I bought it off her Depop and I'll be testing it out. I just got my new stuff. So I was able to get my hands on Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost in the color Goddess. So I think this is an exclusive shade because I can't see it on the website and it has these little um, snowflakes on top. Also, this new brand that I haven't heard of, which I guess it, it was just cruelty free, uh, cruelty free, cruelty free, it is called Prestige Color. It's a 14 color eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. Is the color palette scheme that we have really awesome? Uh, um, yeah, they're cruelty free and oh, there it is. It's by CC or C Color Cosmetics. So they're right there. So yeah, I'm gonna test these out and then she also threw in, which I don't know where this is for her maybe it's just like an extra that she had that she wanted to throw in or something that she creates I don't know uh, lovebird tinted lip balm it's nourishing cruelty free vegan paraben free and made with love That's what it looks like. I'm gonna be doing my makeup with that I also got my hands on in my new job they were selling these Fifth City um, brushes. I wanted to buy the big brushes, but I went with the travel brushes instead because I did need the travel size. So this is what it looks like. It was originally an $85 value and I got it for $35 um, plus an employee discount, but that's just me. So it comes with a powder, br uh, a powder brush, angled contour, eyeshadow brush, domed crease, and a precise eyeliner brush, and a standing brush case. So this is what they look like in the back. And here it is in front of me. So it's actually really cute and compact, this standing um, brush case. And these are pretty good quality. Like, do you hear that? These are what the brushes look like. They're a tinted red. And yeah, so this is the, this is the eyeshadow brush and this is what it looks like domed crease brush Dark. this is the precise liner brush this is the powder brush and this is the angled contour brush I'm just grabbing this hard candy sheer envy mattifying primer it mattifies and controls oil this one. pretty Grab my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Alrighty, and since I want to use the brushes that I just got, I'm going to grab the Angled Contour Brush and use that as my foundation brush. Up next, I'm grabbing my Flower Concealer in the color Medium Deep. It's the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And applying that to my under eyes. This one, I'm gonna grab this Smoothing Face Bare Minerals brush to use as my concealer brush. Next, I'm going to grab my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose um, Setting Powder. It's in the color Deep Profound. This is how it looks. So instead of using my normal powder brush, I'm going for this um, BH Cosmetics V2 brush, which I usually use for blush or highlighter because it's very subtle product. So I'm just gonna. And I'm just gonna set my face. All right, I have finished my powder. I recently discovered a trick. I don't know if, how it is and if I still like it, but I wanna try it out on camera with you guys and ask you guys what you guys think. One day I had forgot my setting powder or I ran out of my to-go setting powder and so I was like, I need to set my face. So I had done my foundation, I did my concealer and I set my face with my setting spray. And I'm gonna do that now before I start the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to grab the Matte Finish Setting Spray by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going, oh, I'm going to show that to you guys better. And I'm 
just gonna spray my face. Now instead of grabbing my other powder brush, which, oh my god, I totally forgot to use this one. I used that one. That's fine. I'm gonna use this one as my powder to set the spray. Alright, now I'm grabbing the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti Crease Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to put that on my eyelids. Now we're going to grab the Prestige uh, Color 14 Eyeshadow eyesh uh, Palette. And we're going to do Eyeshadow Brush from the thing. And we're going to take this Peach color I'm going to use that as a base I hold on including the crease All right so it did have a weird little scratching on the color and fallout so I don't know whether that's the shadows itself or the brushes next I'm going to use this eyeshadow brush from my brush set and I'm going to grab this maroon color at the edge. Okay, I'm trying something kind of different. I'm just doing these triangles because I'm going to have a different color in the inner corner and in the outer crease. Um, so once again, the shadows, I did do that again. So I know it's not the brushes, it's the shadow, but it's fine. The color works. I'm going to grab the domed crease brush and I'm gonna go into two colors this brown in the middle and this mauve on the side so I'm gonna do the mauve first in the inner Same brush, just roughly dusting it, and there we go. Then we're going to grab this BH Cosmetics 103 brush. So we're going to wet the brush with my e.l.f. setting spray. We're going to go for this dark color right here, glitter hole. So far, grabbing it good, and we're going to put that in the inner corner. That's looking good. I'm gonna go back to the creased color and dip it in the brown wipe off excess and just nicely blend everything. Next, so we're going to grab the precise liner brush. We're gonna go into the brown, that dark brown right here. Thought about going with the black, but let's try something new. We're going to. Actually, take this wet and wild brush. It's very flat like that. Just gonna get to that brown again. Grab a fluffy brush to just blend down everything. Grab my e.l.f. eyeliner in the color Jet Black. We're gonna grab my Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. Finish the eyes. What do you think so far? So now we're gonna go to blush. I'm gonna grab my Bare Minerals uh, Ready Blush in the color French Kiss. Blush brush. A time for the moment of truth. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Highlighter in the color Goddess. Let us shake well. Okay, so how it opens is you twist it open and this little component pops up. Then you finish twisting it open.
No, <laughs> she wasn't ready. Okay, so I have made my cheeks super sparkle. I've added it into the inner corners of my eyes. We're going to definitely buff this out. I'm gonna get my powder. I was able to tone it down a bit, but I am a glitter fast. I'm just gonna add some more blush on top of it. I'm literally shining like a goddess on this thing. And I guess I'm gonna be okay with that. Alrighty. I am completely stained <laughs> my shirt from head to toe. Now we're going to go into that tinted lip balm. I think this light little tint is exactly what I need. Hobalosa. Is that it? Color Hobalosa. And then we're going to set the face. And that loves is the finished look. What do you think? need some serious grooming but I actually am starting to dig this look had I not had a little bit of a disaster with the Jeffree Star liquid frost it would be a whole nother story I still need to figure out how to work that but in the inner corners it's looking good I have now a nice little sheer full glob <laughs> of glitter. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this look and of the products I used today. If you've heard of any of these brands, especially the Prestige brand, because I know Jeffree's well known and maybe the Fifth City Elements or the Fifth City brushes are well known as well. I hope you like this look in the comments below. Hit that like if you enjoyed this video and this look and don't forget to hit the lovely subscribe button and join the garden where we can all shine. I love you guys. God bless you. Bye!